with Fight Underground, including just tonight debuting an hour before we went on the air. Our guest tonight, Bro Hemoth, uh, was in an epic Haas fight with one Sean Resnick, somebody we're uh, familiar with, uh, working with and, and filming some matches in the West Virginia area uh, for another promotion. But uh, it was it was a hell of a fight. Bro Hemoth, uh, uh, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched that yet, and I do, do recommend that you do. And, of course, there will be an aftermath tomorrow night on those channels as well. Uh, uh, Bro Hemoth, you yeah, th- this is you. You've had a heck of a time this year. Fight Underground. I think at this point you've had the most matches, or or at least tied for the most matches in the promotion uh, at this point. Uh, uh, can you tell me a little bit about that experience so far? Uh, it's been quite a journey. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> like uh, like as we know, at the beginning of the year, I wound up missing like the first three months, sitting out for surgery. So like being starting back with the Fight Underground, I gotta say like. They threw a challenge at me right off the back. It was like, hey, we give you one person. Now nah, we'll give you two. And I'm just glad they keep them coming. <laughs> that's, that's right. In the first in the first tapings, you had, uh, uh, geez, who, who was it that you killed? Uh, <laughs> Vance Trader and the great Alexander. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Vance. And Vance, uh, Vance has been, he, he also took on your opponent, Sean Resnick, uh, uh, last week. And, and um, he, he's got something. But he still needs to find it. Has been my take on him. He's got a thick skull because he takes a beating. <laughs> <laughs> Did you punch him right in the face during your match? It was like ninety seconds. Oh no, I gave him the first punch. <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, that didn't take. That was very, it was very sporting of you. <laughs> Called me a big bully. Said so he's gonna punch me in the face. So I said I'd give him that so it looks like he died trying. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then he did. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> but anyways, uh, uh, tell me a little about this. Of course, Sean uh, Sean Resnick's a guy that's been around, uh, I don't know how long. I think it's his first time he kept saying uh, uh, in 10 years in the Pittsburgh area that uh, he's been gone. Uh, 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 you know, what was like? It was actually the first time our paths crossed other than when he poked his nose in my business. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, uh, what was like taking on a, a vet like that? I'm sure I left an impression. <laughs> <laughs> in the mat, apparently. Uh, so... <laughs> but uh I, he he was a hell of a challenge but we know what i do <laughs> absolutely absolutely uh so tell me a little bit about just 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 a little bit of background of course it's kind of a different project we've been doing you know wrestling ma'am show of course sponsored this latest, latest area uh, and uh we do production with them over at indie wrestling.us um but uh tell people it's, it's, it's a little bit different project than i know we've been involved with and i think that i've seen you on as well you know of course with these kind of different times uh, uh, how is that vibe for you over at Fight Underground? They definitely like go in with the underground feeling because mm-hmm. it's like an invite only. Mm-hmm. Like they're checking at the door, like and like you're made to feel like it's like Fight Club if they had a ring. Practically, that's <laughs> the vibe they give from it most times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, do, do you see anything like you know you've had you? This is your biggest challenge. I mean, you've just just an idol, of course, that didn't go. Uh, the way you wanted it to uh, back then, uh, but what you know, where do you see this going with this uh, with this promotion? It's something different. Like a lot of shows are still kind of sticking to the same concept, but now it's like focus on the camera. Mm-hmm. But like Fight Underground was made to that, like the way it's been like put together by the mad genius himself. Like it's just like it's something different. Like you get like. You get like that almost Mortal Kombat tournament feel for it when you show up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> like it's something else. Like, but you know, like it's also a lot of things. Like it's wrestling, but at the same time, there's something so different about it because of the environment. It's it's been made to grow in. And this isn't something like it's not popping up in like a a a, a wrestling school or anything like that. Like it's been like we, we just. We're, an address for a warehouse in the back streets of Pittsburgh this time. That, that's that underground feeling. You're literally just given an invitation and a location and says, show up and see who wants to fight. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's graffiti outside. Like actually not graffiti, but, but murals actually were on the building were fantastic. Um, yes. so it was, it's a heck of an experience. And, and again, seeing the wrestlers around watching the matches as, as, as as you guys are pummeling each other has been a fascinating thing. You got coaches. I, I I can't remember you having a manager 
of any sort in your career from from the times that we've known you. And you got uh, Ronnie's managed me once. <laughs> Ronnie's managed you once, yes. But you got in your corner, of course, you know, a, a Pittsburgh veteran in uh, uh, Dean Radford, and you got a uh, uh, Dash Bennett on the other side behind behind Resnick. You know, how is that to have that like kind of support? Dean's always like, I feel like Dean is someone who like has always trying to be like, hey, like you're good, but here's how you can be better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And like for that, I always appreciate because like at the same time, it's never like you suck. Here's how you get better. It's like here's where you're weak. Here's how to improve it. It's mm -hmm. it's always been constructive criticism. It's never just like a straight up beat down and then like, oh, here's how you might get better. How do you think? Are you? Do you feel like you're more focused now because of his tutelage? More vicious? More, uh, you know, on the right track? He's, now? he's definitely awoken something up in me because, like, I don't remember being this angry so much all the time. Now. I'd, I'd say, <laughs> have you seen his old matches? <laughs> I've, 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 I've stood across from Dean. It's it's never fun. Yeah, well, it's yeah. fun. It's just like you regret it the next morning. You need to check. You need to check some of those uh, late two thousand matches uh, we got over on the network. There, <laughs> he's got some. We we've seen them in some some pretty some pretty uh 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 hard matches that that it, when I heard that uh, he's your coach for this thing I was like oh no yeah that's right that's perfect so <laughs> <laughs> so like he was he's one of the first people who like when I broke out in Pittsburgh was a name that like a lot of people were bringing up like yeah, hey yeah you might want to go find this guy like you kind of a similar body type kind of that that big bruiser but but you can move you know kind of kind of a uh, uh, vibe to you right. Built like a tank, move like a Rari. <laughs> yeah, just like that, just like that. So, uh, well, that's fantastic. Of course, you can check that out, and you can see all the bros matches. They're all over on the uh, Fight Underground YouTube page and on the Facebook page. And of course, we do have that first batch, like I said, of the Area One matches over on Indie Wrestling Network and on VOD. If you want to possess that as well to watch on any device.